Hello, today we are going to review smart campaigns, specifically creating date-based smart campaigns. In KV Core, while creating your campaigns, when you go to add a new campaign, there are a variety of triggers or campaign logic to start a new campaign. When a lead is new from a certain source, when hashtags are applied, or you can layer those together. Today, we're gonna to talk about date-specific smart campaigns. There are three date types to pick from, the birthday of a contact, the purchase anniversary of a contact, both dates found in the lead detail module. Additionally, you can do a specific date on a calendar. So if we choose a date-based smart campaign to start on February 1st of 2022, we might decide to have that campaign run annually. In this case, we're gonna build out a text-based holiday greetings smart campaign. And I want this to only attach to people who have the specific hashtag holiday text. I could create a similar campaign by cloning this later and having it start when I add hashtag holiday email. For always run, I want this to be set as yes. So that way, as I add additional campaigns to a contact, this one will continue to run no matter what else is going on. I click next and I decide which deal type I want this campaign to be for. Is it for my buyers or my sellers? In this case, it's for all audiences. Now I name my campaign. So this is my holiday text campaign. And I personally throw my initials in every time I create a campaign. My description, this is a holiday, or a text-based holiday greetings campaign. And since this goes annually, I might even add in here last edited. So that way I know where I'm at and if this needs to be reviewed. I click next and I finish. My next step now that I've added that campaign is to start building in the content. For today's purpose, we have taken all the templates available in this article, the US Holiday Text Campaigns. For my Canadians, there is a Canadian-based one as well. And I've already added these campaigns into KV Core, so I already have all of my content created. Now I'm going to look for that holiday campaign and start editing the content. The next holiday that's coming up for us is going to be Groundhog's Day. So I'm going to add an action of a text, and this will be my Groundhog's Day text. I choose the template that I now have. Sorry about my password reminder. <laughs> I decide when it's going to run. So this is going to run on specifically February 2nd. Our next holiday is St. Patrick's Day. My template, I look at my St. Patrick's Day template, and I have that run on a specific date of March 17th. My next holiday is we're gonna skip and go to Easter. So add the last text. And I want that to go specifically on April 17th. So now I have my spring holidays all taken care of. My last step is to turn this campaign on so that way, now as I add hashtag holiday text to this to my contacts, this campaign will attach to them. My final pro tip of the day. As we created this, you notice that Groundhog's Day is always the same date, but Easter is not. I would suggest anytime you're doing some form of date-based campaign, you add in a task for yourself. My task template that I'm going to pick is going to be campaign is ending. So my holiday text campaign review upcoming holiday dates. 
and I'm going to have this go on a specific date. So since this is going to restart on February 1st of 2023, I'm going to set a reminder for myself on January uh, 5th of 2023 to go in and update the additional and update the uh, dates as are reflected on the upcoming calendar. Thank you for coming today to our smart campaign, text-based campaign quick video.